Hi friends, welcome to Electrical Engineers Convention. Now we are in the Digital Modulations playlist. So the next topic that we are going to see after the sampling is the quantization. Let's recall from our Digital Modulation topic uh, architecture that we have a sampling block and followed by a quantizer block from the Digital Communication architecture. So we are going to see what this quantizer does today. So quantization. What does quantization mean? Quantization means rounding off the discrete values to the nearest stable value. So remember the quantizer gets input from the sampler. So in the last video we found that the sampler is converting the continuous time signals into discrete time signals, right? So this discrete time signals is given as input to the quantizer. So what it does is it takes the discrete signals and maps to nearest stable value, nearest value which is stable. So what do we achieve be, uh, from this? So let's say we are having a discrete values like 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, something like this. So what the quantizer does is it maps something like this. It takes the first four digits maps it to 0 and it takes the next 4 digits and maps it to 1. So we are sending 8 bits of information in just 2 bits. So what we are achieving here? Basically we are achieving data compression. Data compression. So that's what we achieve in quantization. We are achieving a data compression. So let's see that pictorially now. So if you see here I am actually taking a discrete time signal. I have just marked the discrete elements here uh, from x1 of t to xn of t all the way. And what I am doing is I am dividing the y axis into multiple levels. So here I have divided the entire graph into 10 levels from level 1 to level 10, uh, which are varying from four zeros until 1001. So we can have 16 combinations as you know for a 4 bit we will have 16 different combinations until 4 ones. So I have just taken 10 values or 10 levels here. So it is a 4 bit. So what you can get is 2 power 4, 2 power 4 which is nothing but 16. So 2 power n is the formula for finding the total number of quantization levels. So what it does is it actually estimates this point let's say we let's say we are taking x1 of t so this is x1 of t so this point is estimated to be 0 0 1 0 and the x2 of t is estimated to another value the x3 of t is estimated to another value but how many ever points may be on this graph so let's say we are having about uh, 50 points Let's assume we have 50 discrete points from x1 of t up till x50 of t. All the 50 points will be mapped onto these 10 points, these 10 quantization levels. So it means that we are reducing 50 input bits to just 10 input bits, 10 different repeating input bits. So this is how a quantized signal looks. So this is how a discrete signal's envelope looks. This is how a quantization, quantized signal looks. So the difference between these two levels, uh, let's say here I am considering quantization level 9 and quantization level 10, a difference between the two levels in quantization, it's called as a step size. So because of the estimation that we do, so what we are doing is we are estimating the signal to be closer to this level. So what if a signal is at here in between the levels, so whichever is closer either level 6 or level 7 or level 8 whichever is closer we have we have to consider that value so in order because we are making this estimation this introduces some error in the calculation so that error is called as the quantization error the quantization error uh, is induced into the system but it is not realized when we are transmitting because we are estimating and we are just transmitting the signal but by the time when we receive the signal and when we do the source decoding 
we have to redo the quantization right we have to reconstruct the original signal from the quantized signal that's when we'll experience the quantization error so there are two ways in which you can reduce this quantization error one is you can increase the number of quantization levels so here you have 2 power n that is 2 power 4 that is 4 bits 2 power 4 that is 16 so we have 16 quantization levels here so if you keep on increasing the quantization levels the step size will reduce right so if the step size reduces which means that the estimation will be the estimation that the quantization does will be very less or the quantization error that is induced during the process of quantization will be reduced so decreasing the step size between the quantization levels or increasing the number of quantization levels both are one and the same if you do this the quantization error will be reduced so once the signal is quantized it is given on as an input to the channel encoder we'll see about the channel encoder in the coming videos so this is the basics of the quantization if you have any questions please post it and thanks for watching